As a man, your 20s are probably the most defining period of your life. You are thrown into the world bearing all responsibility for yourself. And there is a lot on our plate. We need to worry about making money, developing social skills, attracting friends and women, as well as developing and discovering ourselves, who we are and who we want to become. Because the good news for us men is we don't really start peaking until we're closer to 30 years old. Now, does this mean if you're a 30 year old loser, you can't change? Of course not. But what I'm saying is we only have a given amount of time and our 20s are extremely important for setting ourselves up for the rest Rest of our lives. I'm currently 21 years old and while I'm doing all right, I certainly have a long way to go to becoming the man I want to be. So here's how I'm planning to optimize my 20s and this can serve as a guide for you for how not to waste your 20s. Number one is especially important if you desire to make a lot of money and that is develop a skill or better yet skills. Since a young age, I have always taken interest in video editing and creating video. I probably started YouTube around nine years ago. It started off as these little action movies with Nerf and airsoft guns and then it evolved into gaming and then I stopped for a couple years during high school and then fitness vlogs, and then here we are with the self-improvement. And as I'm doing this, while at the time it just seemed like fun, and yeah, you have that little kid dream of being a YouTuber like most kids do in the United States, I didn't realize it, but I was developing an incredible skill that becomes increasingly valuable as time goes on. Because of this, I was able to land the job in December 2020 of editing for the YouTuber James English. This allowed me to quit my job at the time working at the gym and opened me up to a lot more free time to pursue my passions and my goals, which is mainly this channel. Making videos for someone else's channel as my actual job allowed me to expand on those skills even more and become much faster, much more efficient. And because I have developed the skills of video editing and videography, I am now kind of safe from ever having to return to a regular job most likely because these skills, even if for some reason my channel exploded and died or James doesn't want to make YouTube videos anymore, I could take these skills and go find work somewhere. This could be editing someone else's YouTube videos, podcasts, TikToks, shooting for weddings, creating advertisements for businesses. I mean, in the digital age, this skill alone opens me up to so much. And the good news is there's hundreds, if not thousands of skills like that, that if you learn and hone in on it, it will make you money. Maybe you were really good at writing in high school. So you learned copywriting and now you manage a hundred thousand person email listing for a business, or perhaps you're really good at chess. So you tutor kids or you make online chess content or you sell chess courses, maybe all three. Because once you have one or more skills like this, you become a more valuable person. And this makes you much less susceptible to economic downturns. Because honestly, in this day and age, the stable job is no longer stable. And as the economy fluctuates, throughout your 20s, people that work those stable jobs are much more likely to experience layoffs compared to if you have these skills, you created some kind of business out of this, you're your own boss, the opportunities are endless, you can find work. So take notes of the skills you have or want to learn and just realize that you can freelance them, you can create an agency or a business, or you can simply teach others the skill. Number two is to set big long-term goals and make them specific. Visualize the best case scenario for yourself in the next five to 10 years and then some. You can think about the career you've achieved, the amount of money you make every month, the lifestyle or financial freedom that you've unlocked, as well as simply visualize the person you want to become. The most optimal, best case scenario version of yourself that allows all these achievements you want to succeed to happen. Think about these things often and as you visualize them, allow yourselves to feel the emotions as if it's already happened. This is going to program your subconscious to help you take the actions necessary to reach those goals. Number three is to develop and strengthen your social skills. This one is something that especially matters to me because throughout my childhood, especially especially through high school, I had a lot of social anxiety. Or while I may seem just like a normal little gamer nerd on the outside, in my mind, I was overanalyzing every single action and interaction I had with my fellow students. And while it certainly got a little better as I graduated, I realized that for the past two years, it was still something affecting me. I remember that even if I was going to hang around some people that I was pretty familiar with, I would still meditate beforehand to help ease my mind and I would also consume caffeine because the caffeine would kind of allow me to pull myself out of my shell a little bit and talk more. Fast forward to now it's something that I've worked on quite a bit and also my overall self-confidence and even arrogance to an extent has gone up a little bit because of self-improvement. Because as I realized looking back I didn't truly love myself until maybe a year ago. So it was harder for me to raise that social battery because I just didn't feel deserving. So work on your social skills, both with men and women. This is going to help you in personal and business relationships. And something that obviously does help with this because it's getting reps in, just like getting reps in in the gym, is doing pickup or cold approach game, meaning approaching women and talking to them. And the reason I think women help a little bit more is because men were just a little more nervous about our interactions with women. So if you can develop the ability to walk up to a 10, talk to her, be charismatic and nice, you can probably go talk to some guy that you want to be friends with or have a business relationship with. Number four may upset some of you guys, but skip the partying most of the time. Now, obviously, occasionally going out, occasionally going partying, occasionally consuming alcohol isn't going to destroy your life. I've done it a couple times. I'd say I've been to the club 
around seven times this year. But if you have big goals that you're working on, in reality, you can't afford to go out every weekend. Poisoning your body with alcohol, you're poisoning your mind with overstimulation. And most of the time, going out isn't just sacrificing a night, it's sacrificing the next day. You're getting home at 4 or 5 a.m., you're sleeping in, you're hungover, you can operate at like 30% of the work volume you can usually operate at. Now here's the caveat to that. Going out can be good for developing social skills, like I said in the last step, especially things like approaching and picking up girls, but you have to be careful because this can lead to a downward spiral of degeneracy. So understand that you need to abstain much more than you need to indulge. I feel like a strong yet subtle flex as a man is having a nice looking wallet, especially considering how many men are walking around with bulky folds of old receipts and hotel keys. Now Ridge Wallet is exactly that, featuring over 30 different styles and colors. I like this one so much, I got one very similar to give as a gift to my younger brother. The money clip was super easy to screw on, so now I can flex my entire net worth. I also got this sick key holder that cleaned up my lanyard very nicely. To show you how confident they are in their products, they have a 45 day money back guarantee and a lifetime warranty. If you're interested, get the best offer with ridge.com slash Kenny and right now save up to 40% through December 22nd. Once again, that's ridge.com slash Kenny. Thank you. Number five might be a little obvious for the subscribers of this channel, but develop an impressive physique. Get in the gym, get active, eat protein. Spending this time developing an aesthetic physique will allow you to unlock the respect of men and the attraction of women, as well as you'll be creating habits that are extremely beneficial to your mental and physical health and will carry on for the rest of your life. And I want you to also understand that it's a marathon, not a race. If you get too deep into the fitness industry, you might think, oh, I need to take these SARMs or these steroids to get these instant results. So guys and girls like me, and that's kind of a side effect of a certain area of the modern day fitness industry. People get too too nitty gritty with comparing their physiques to others, which if you're not a bodybuilder and you don't plan on competing on a stage, you don't really need to compare yourself to others like that. Because once you develop a pretty decent physique, you're already up in the 1% in terms of aesthetics and strength. And you'll realize people don't really care about stuff like, oh, well he has half an inch more on his biceps. Oh, well he's 1% leaner in body fat. Just focus on becoming the best version of yourself. Train hard, eat well, optimize your physical health, your gut health, your mental health. And by the time you're wrapping up your 20s, you will look and feel amazing. If you want my free arm day routine, which is what I'm currently doing to help grow my arms, the link is in the description. Number six, I already know, is going to make a lot of people mad, but abstain from worthless entertainment. I know this is ruffling a lot of feathers, but if you want to become a high value man, the most optimal version of yourself, then this is not the time to be wasting time. In the modern day, most men are completely addicted to things like video games, pornography, watching TV and sports, and especially overindulging in social media such as Instagram and TikTok. What this does is not only are you wasting all the time you're spending using this stuff, but it's actually triggering these high dopamine releases, which over time is going to lower your dopamine baseline, which means your default level of drive and motivation through your 20s as you're trying to become the best version of yourself is gonna be lower. And I can already see some of the comments, but, but it's fun, so I'm having fun, it's not wasting time. Yes, it is. And the good news is that because all these men are addicted to that, you abstaining from it, optimizing your time, regulating your dopamine will put you ahead of 99% of men. So if you stay working harder and becoming better than 99% of men, eventually you'll become the top 1% of men. So if you go this period abstaining from that, better time management, better mental health than 99% of men, I think it's safe to say that eventually you will reach the top 1% of men. Now, does this mean you need to replace all your downtime because you're quitting these things with just work work? Not exactly. You need to replace it with things like meditation, reading, listening to valuable podcasts, going on walks, going to the gym, replacing it with things that are obviously good for you, obviously gonna benefit your mental and physical health. Number seven is cultivate your relationships. Begin to learn which relationships with people benefit you and which are to your detriment. And yes, that means if you have some weeds in your garden, you have to cut them out. Because most likely you'll have a friend that's always on your back, bro, let's go out, bro, get on the game, bro, hop on Discord, when you're trying to work and better yourself. Now, I'm not saying cut these kinds of people off right off the bat. Certainly try to help them understand what you're doing and maybe even push them to want to optimize their lives as well. However, if they continue to be a detriment to your life, then you need to cut them out because your time and your mental energy is too valuable for you to be wasting it on them. Now, on the other side of that, you need to build up and strengthen relationships with people that positively impact your life, which can be finding like-minded people on your journey to form these symbiotic relationships with. Iron sharpens iron. So even if you guys aren't making a business together, you just hanging around each other, talking about each other's goals, offering advice to each other will make everything just so much better than doing it all by yourself. As well as if you have family, 
please make an effort to see them. Stay close with them. I mean, maybe not physically if you're having to chase opportunities elsewhere, but making an effort to stay in contact or visit them. It just breaks my heart when I hear about people who haven't seen their family in years just because they moved and they've just been working. It's like, that's really not an excuse, bro. Their time on here is limited, just like yours. And this is something I realize more and more as I get older. I have parents, grandparents, I have little brothers, all these people that I want to have a positive impact on and show them that I love them and I'm here for them. Number eight is develop an iron mind. This is through things like building up your discipline, your mindfulness, your ability to focus, your ability to think creatively, which will in turn lead you to more success for those goals that you have set. Because honestly, today's age, your mind is your greatest asset. So this can be achieved through doing things like meditation, learning how to observe thoughts and control your emotions, as well as developing discipline, which is basically doing things even though you're not motivated or feeling like it. Every time you choose to take the path of discipline, you are building up that mental muscle. So maybe this is going to the gym, taking a cold shower, abstaining from worthless entertainment like we talked about earlier. This is also taking the ego blow of realizing you don't know as much as you think you do. You're young, you're trying to accomplish all these things. You need to be approaching things with a student mentality, which will allow you to be prepared for any opportunity to learn that comes your way. These are the traits I'm trying to master now so that when I'm wrapping up my 20s, I am both the man I want to be and on the level I wanna be on. Another trait I'm trying to build up is masculinity because if you look around in the modern day, they're trying to push men in the opposite direction. So if you wanna know the steps that I'm taking to become the most masculine version of myself and just a better man in general, then click this video on the screen right now. Thank you for watching. Bye, 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 bye.